Hello and welcome everybody. This is Not Pro Gardener here and today we've got a shower coming in so we're going to do some quick work hopefully. We're going to be in the in-ground garden today. We are going to be doing a little weeding with the wheel hoe and then we're going to kind of show you what we've planted. Me and the kids got out and planted some of this stuff. We planted our cucumbers very late, a little bit late, and uh, we're going to do a fall try to do them in the fall this year because of less bug pressure which is weird normally we have high bug pressure right now so we're gonna go ahead and show you what we planted and then we're going to uh, cultivate and then talk about how we trellis our cucumbers so let's get to it all right everybody so we got these planted before like about a week ago these are our Olympian, we got these planted about a week ago. These are the Olympian cucumbers for slicing. I'm gonna jump over to the next row. These are the straight eights, I believe. These came up pretty quick. The whole row did pretty good. Had some doubles in there, but uh, they're getting big enough now that we have to get these trellises up and our third row it's really hard to see these guys it is the uh, I believe it's the Mexican gherkin cucumber I'll try to pop a picture up of these but those were kind of spotty germination I had to put a straight eight every once in a while to fill in the rows so I get more uh, cucumbers for the space but uh, as you can see they look different those guys, those guys have uh, germinated decently, mostly down the row. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get some cultivation done on each side of the row. As you can see, there's a little, little bit of weed pressure along the edges. We're just going to try to rough them up a little bit before the rain on all these rows. And then we're going to put our uh, trellis and talk about that. So, we got that cultivated right before we put our trellis up. Now, we usually just don't let our cucumbers sprawl out on the ground. We've found that we can save a lot more space and grow a lot more cucumbers if we grow them vertically. So, there's this thing called trellis netting. It's like a plastic netting. This stuff, uh, pretty easy, lightweight to put up, and easy to take down or reuse if desirable. So we're going to go ahead and string this out and zip tie it up there, which has been the easiest way to do it. We uh, have had pretty good luck with these, so that's why we continue to do it. And uh, let's go ahead and string these guys up because the plants are big enough that they're going to start putting out tendrils. So we want to get this on now. Let's get this stuff hanging up.
everybody. Now, if you've ever used cattle panels and you've already made the purchase, I can understand if you want to reuse those, but I do not have any. So this is my solution. I first seen this on Haas Tools and I had to try it. And I gotta say, I'm pleased with it. It's very easy. And uh, I'm gonna take you in close and just kind of show you what it looks like after. And then I will do the rest of these cucumbers another day. The plans for all these cucumbers are for fermenting purposes and I'm going to be pickling some dill and uh, sugar-free sweet pickles bread and butter pickles all the rage gonna get all those done hopefully that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of that so there's gonna be a forest of pickles out here and uh, they're gonna be good eating if you've had any good experiences with these varieties that I talked about leave them in the comments below if you got any tips or tricks, I'd love to hear them. Just leave them in the comments below, and uh, let's go check it out. This is the trellis, Porter Nova trellis netting. I usually just get a big roll of it and cut it to the sizes I need. So, as you can see, my T-posts are a little short here, but all I do is I just put some 2 by 2s on there, zip tie them on to make them taller. So you want to get this stuff down close enough that these guys are going to be able to lean over and grab onto it. I could have probably set them up a little bit higher, but this works pretty good. It kind of sags in the middle up here, which is not a big deal. This is a, a very easy and lightweight option for trellising your cucumbers. Just kind of guide them a little bit until they start taking off and then they should thread themselves through the netting eventually. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done later. Alright everybody, so this is not a pro gardener here, showing you how we trellis our cucumbers. And you could use this for pole beans or like we did up in the cucurbit plot. You can use them for like spaghetti squash or even small melon varieties. I used them for my baby butternut squash this year and uh, it's perfect. Holds them up just fine. Has a little sagging in the middle obviously because it's not rigid like a cattle panel. But you don't have to lug all that weight around and uh, they can be reusable if you want them to be. Sometimes people just like to cut them off and burn them or whatever you deem fit for them so this is not a pro gardener here don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you next time out here in the garden have a great day